that went much quicker with the bigger stitches. Uh, but I do have one goof here, right in here. That seam got really wide. So what I found was I had to follow this seam as long as I was in these strips. And then once I was in the white, I would put the little marker down and follow it. Um, these are probably not even, but you know what? No one's going to notice that when it's all together. So that's cool. The bigger stitches made it go quicker. And certainly having this makes it go a lot easier. So always learning new stuff. There is so many things to the sewing machine that I don't know yet. So, it's fun to learn new things. Now I'll do the um, cross-stitching, and I'll have another, another block done. Well, here are the two blocks that I've done. This is the first one with the, um, oh, I say typical stitch length, the uh, manual, what it, what it would normally be, and this is with the long one. And I don't think it's as puckered. Um, but I also think it probably shows up on the colors a little bit more. So I might just reduce the stitch just by a little. Um, this was a setting of like 1.6 and this is a setting of 4. So if I go down to even 3, I'm still like double the length of this. Um, I've got one square that isn't quite the same as the others, but... It was a whole lot easier doing it that way. Now uh, with that little little foot that sticks out to go along my seams. That was pretty awesome. Um, so we're getting there. Let me try one more. Okay, I've got the top row done. And of course that one down there. The bigger stitches definitely made it less puckered. So I hope this one doesn't stand out too much against all the other ones. Um, I can only, only hope and uh, hopefully it won't be noticeable. But the bigger stitch does help and um, I love that walking foot and that little guide. Um, it's wonderful. Um, it certainly goes a lot faster. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. So, there we go.